Alrighty then, folks. Time to get ourselves into ESO some more. Apparently, there's also an anniversary spotlight for a multi-rider map with scribing. Apparently, if we complete the during the anniversary spotlight window, we'll have this. Oh, fun. Anywho, let's go ahead and get fired up for more ESO here as we get started with Gold Road. By, oh, I get started with Necrom, that is, sorry. Brain. Brain. Also, how the hell did you not hit play? There we go. Uh, good. There we go. Much better. And seeing, there we go. But yeah, hopefully everybody is doing all right. We're going to be popping in over at the Telvani Peninsula specifically, all the way over in Necrom because, as we did previously, we popped ourselves over that way because I am so not in the mood to have to hoof it all the way over to places. Mm. Well, fate definitely does need us here. The one who knows instructed me to give you this. A condensate of planar potentialities. Mm -hmm. it, uh, you will not understand. Mm -hmm. It is ink. This is Laramil the Wise. Take it to the Mano cistern, a ruin near the city. Pour the ink into the water and your path will become clear. And uh, go ahead and introduce yourself again for our home audience. I am Laramil, sometimes called the Wise, although that is not a sobriquet I care for. I seek to comprehend the emergent truths elicited by... The, um, never mind that. I am a scholar. A century ago, I struck a bargain with Hermaeus Mora. So you serve him. I do not worship him, if that is your question. The Prince of Knowledge is an ally and patron. Mora provides me with access to rare and esoteric lore. In return, I undertake various tasks for him. 
a mutually beneficial arrangement. Mm-hmm. And uh, her, tell us more about Hermaeus Mora that we already know. Have you never heard of the Daedric Prince of Forbidden Knowledge? The Lord of Fate? The Riddle Unsolvable? Hmm. Hermaeus Mora knows everything. He is the wisest of the Daedra. Every secret and all knowledge finds its way to Apocrypha in time. And Apocrypha, you say? I am astonished how little the mortals of our tiny world comprehend. Apocrypha is the realm of Hermaeus Mora, his home and seat of power, one of the countless realms that drift through oblivion. Please, do not ask me about oblivion. Hmm. Who exactly are we up against? One or more of Hermaeus Mora's rival princes, although they have yet to reveal themselves. They work through agents, such as whoever sought the glyphics when we first met. A spider lurks at the center of this web. I am sure of it. So is this related to the glyphics I heard? Yes, Sorry, I had to text somebody. No. Mm. We face the same foe who sought the onyx and umbral glyphics and colluded with Drawless Atherin to seize the emerald glyphic. Mm-hmm. To change tactics when you stopped them. But they have not abandoned their grander scheme. Oh, they have not. Mano Cistern. gonna go ahead and pop our way through and do all these shrines because why the hell not it gives us XP Mm-hmm. 
I bet you do. Do 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 Alrighty then. We pour ink into water. Step forth, mortal. Know that you stand in the presence of Hermaeus Mora. We must converse. Early now. Has done well and brought fate's chosen into my unrelenting gaze. All other outcomes are now excluded. From this moment, fate ever branching tree begins to grow again. This is about the threat you are foresaw? I'm more mortal. I see all that is, was, and will ever be. And in so doing, I saw hidden rivals that threaten Apocrypha and all of reality. They must not succeed. The time has come to honor your agreement. Oh, fun. My agreement. I am the golden eye of fate and the keeper of whispers. I have foretold that a mortal is needed to preserve reality. What do you need me to do? Mm. She can perceive the threads of fate and lead you to the three tasks that will reveal my hidden adversaries. How can I save reality? I don't understand. To three specific threads of fate that converge in a place known as the Tevani Peninsula. She will guide you to these locations so you can unmask my hidden adversaries. Go to the city of Necro. Laramil. What do you know about the enemy? And how do you know it's a threat? You can't determine? How can I? Your instinctual ability to succeed no matter the obstacles place before you. No matter the hour. Tell me more about Apocrypha and its little connection. Apocrypha is my domain. And exactly are you? Of your world call me a Daedric Prince. What I How do you know I could trust you? To bind myself to you with a pact takes many paths, mortal. Find Laramel and choose wisely. That be the plan.
There we go. And now we meet back up with her in Nikram. As we make our way through here. To my safe house, Proxy. Let's shut her up. Hermaeus Mora represents a rare honor. The so you said you would guide me. I shall. What do I need to do with the locations? I do not know. I was only presented with what was required to bring you to the right place at the right moment. So you don't know the what. Futures branch from every mortal choice. Where do I need to go? Lead to three locations in this region. What's this place? Mm-hmm. Of operations in this region. Really? I secured it so we could travel to and from Apocrypha without causing undue panic. I doubt Necrom's authorities would approve of portals to an oblivion realm in their city. Tell me more about the portals. In addition to the three to take you to the locations you must investigate. I summoned two gateways to Apocrypha. <clears throat> Leads to the <coughs> A place of books as numberless as the stars. The other to Chroma Incognito, where lost fates linger. Do I need to go now? Only if you desire to do so. The threads of fate Hermaeus Mora asks you to investigate begin here in the Telvani Peninsula. Tell me more about the locations. Request. I shall provide what details I can, but I know little more than you do. Necrom Necropolis. Necrom serves as a center for mm -hmm. the Dunma practice of ancestor worship, a strange custom. The monks of the Necropolis, called the Keepers of the Dead, tend the catacombs beneath the city. They guide the faithful in venerating their forebears. Tell me about Alavelis. Alavelis is a monk. Alavelis whose only claim to fame is its Malachite quarry, a glass mine, as the Dunma refer to it. That thread of fate vibrates with particular intensity. What you shall find there, I cannot say, but I urge caution, Proxy. And tell Rendis. Tell Rendis is one of the many mushroom towers that dot this land. They usually serve as domiciles of Telvanni wizards who wield formidable magic. But this tower is abandoned. Interesting. Your Alrighty then. Must be your own proxy. Hermaeus Mora was clear about that. There. Three parts are now arrayed before you. Which will you pick? We'll start with the necropolis. How can we honor our ancestors 
if the necropolis is closed. The abbot ordered the closure for your own good, citizen. Curate Gadain, make sure no one enters. Prelate? Oh, of course. No one enters the necropolis. The necropolis is closed? Who ever heard of such a thing? Something about this doesn't feel right. Let's chat up, shall we? Curate Gadain. But the necropolis is closed today. And by order of the abbot, it seems. We've never turned away the families of the dead before, but if the rumors about illness are true, plague isn't something to be treated lightly. Plague? When Prelate Forum and his aides arrived, my fellow keepers of the dead were plagued with a strange malady. I was away when the disease struck, and I haven't been allowed back inside since. The prelate said the abbot ordered the closure, but... Sounds like you don't trust the prelate. Prelate mm -hmm. from the temple, and suddenly my fellow monks fell ill. Let me go ahead and look into that. Friend. Prelate Forum arrived aboard the Stormwing. Tell me more about the necropolis. The of Necrom, perhaps the largest and oldest necropolis in all of Morrowind. For thousands of years, families have interred their revered ancestors in these catacombs. It's my honor to serve as one of the Keepers of the Dead. Keepers of the Dead, you say? Yes, we're a monastic order. You said you were away. I was with Abbot Ilvel when Prelate Forum arrived. Tell me about the illness. First hand. You said that the Prelate's responsible. Yes. If the Keepers are sick. But if it isn't spreading to the Prelate or his aides, is it really that dangerous? I have no idea. You think it's anything related to possibly Hermaeus Mora? Lord of Secrets? I hope not. Portmaster! There's that lay about Brandus. Absent again. Mm hmm Not now, stranger. My assistant never showed up for work today, and I've got my hands full directing cargo bound for both land and sea. Passengers from the store wing may have brought a plague to Necrom. Plague? That's not a word to toss around lightly. What proof do you have? The abbot closed the monastery because the monks that arrived there had fallen ill. Look, illness is a part of life when you work with the dead. I'm surprised the keepers of the dead aren't sick more often. Plague can be serious, but I need more than your word to shut down the port or quarantine the city. If you'll let me investigate the Stormwing, I can find the proof I needed. I let you wander around unattended on a ship under my watch. And since my assistant Randus never showed up for work today, I have no one available to escort you. Without port agent Randus or more substantial proof, I can't help you. You don't want to be remembered as the port master who let a plague overrun Necrom, do you? No, I wouldn't want that. All right. If you're careful and don't touch anything, you can go aboard and take a look around. But if you find anything to verify your claim, I want you to bring it to me immediately. Got it. What's going on with the storm? Hold of the storm wing. E. Hey. 
Hidden Kindred Instructions, my fellow kindred. As Supreme Plague Master of our Glorious Order, I command you to bring these instructions to the follow these instructions to the letter. Bring the Pestilential Lord's influence to Firewatch and meet me at the harbor. We'll continue our journey to Necrom aboard the Merchant Ship Stormwing. Make sure the vials containing the Holy Miasma of Disease are sealed tight. It's important that Periite's breath remains undiluted until we share it with the Necropolis' misguided monks. I have the robes and cows you'll need at Necrom. I shall pose as a temple prelate, and you will be in my attendance. Soon we can reach the Necropolis unhindered and find what we seek. To the glory of Periite and the Hidden Kindred, Blight Crown. I do believe we're good so far to the hold. Sack containing a periite idol. And what's this at number four? I saw a uh, hello. Ritual circle and a nice neat little thing. First meet Dalmir's log. 22 days ago, departed Vivek City on the morning tide. Bound for Sadrith Mora, find morning to set sail. 18 days ago, made port at Sadrith Mora. Mora Sadrith Mora took on a cargo of muck sponge. 15 days ago, took on passengers at Fireworks, pre Prelate Farum, and his aides who observe a vow of silence. Strange group, all with scars that indicate they suffered some sort of pox or other in the past. I never met many one for the temple like them before, and they had a lot of cargo. Crates that smelled like something died inside them. They better not seem to the hold. Around the North Cape of the Telvani Peninsula in rough seas, half the crew was too sick to work today. The prelate and his aides kept to the lower decks. I haven't found a few of them in the hold four days ago, three days out of Necrom. The crew is complaining about skeevers. There must be some sort of infestation in the hold. Probably something to do with those crates the prelate brought aboard. I'm going to take a look back, and then I'm going to lock it up until we reach Necrom. Do the cure it, good aim. Sadly, we now have to make our way to cur pr uh, cure it, good aim. Maybe you abandoned me. No, no. Garrett. To turn away one more family. Did you learn anything at the Stormwing about a sickness or a plague? And did the temple really send Prelate Forum to the Necropolis? Nope, he's an imposter. This so-called Prelate Forum is the leader of the Hidden Kindred and a follower of Periite. An imposter? Let me see what you found. I knew there was something wrong the moment I saw the Prelate. I suppose I should call him Blight Crown. What kind of name is that? Stupid one, I know. What does a devotee of Periite want in the Necropolis? Doesn't say, but they're looking for something. All sorts of relics and heirlooms are stored in the catacombs with the ancestors. You know so another way. Wait. When I wanted to slip out after curfew, I used the cellar that connects to the city's underways. Good idea, I'll meet you there. Is on the west side of the Necropolis. You seem worried about the abbot. Young age. No other family. Blight Crown the Blight Crown's word about that. What about the city guard? Blight Crown has the authority of the temple. Oh fuck. The Necrom guard would never make a move against Crap. Or the orders of What can you tell me about? Mm-hmm. Worship all sort. I'll meet you in the other ways. To the underways, I guess. This place used to be so much. Do 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 do. In a moment. You 
go first. To the necropolis! No one around, just as I hoped. The chapel is through the doorway and up the stairs. To the right, friend. The door to the chapel is at the end of the hall. Never locked. Can you pick it? If not, Curate Zancon leaves his key on a shelf to the northwest. Thankfully, it's a simple lock, so. Yay! Do my jewels. We'll go ahead and tack it in. That. And. That. Those sensors, whatever they're emitting, reeks. Destroy the sensors. They're sickening these keepers. Many questions. Oh, I know nothing of Friar Durdrin's tomb. Leave it be. I, I don't know anything about a fulcrum. Please. The Dane. Abbot Ilvel is in danger. Prelate Farum put one of those foul senses in his chamber. That's all of them. Let's go check on Abbot Ilvel. Light Crown's orders. Keep the sensors burning to infuse the chapel with Periite's blessed breath, but use care. Do not exhaust our supply before we find what we seek. Question the keeper stricken by our prince's favor. Where is the relic? Where is Prior Durden's, Durden's tomb? What other secrets hidden hide in the catacombs? In their fever, they should reveal what they need to find the relic. Alvin Ilvel may know more about these topics than the other keepers. Move him to his chambers and I will question him personally. With the abbot. That's not good. The north when we're done here. The abbot, destroy that foul sensor, friend. Brother, stop. Fulcrum obscura. Durdrin's tomb in the lower catacombs. Poor abbot Ilvel, he's delirious. What did he say about the lower catacombs? How insidious. Blightcrown made the keepers uh -huh. of the sick so he could question them in their fevered state. Mm -hmm. And also he could Genius. find a relic hidden in the necropolis? Why go to all the trouble? Part of a plot to attack Hermaeus Mora. I was told that fate sent me here to stop it. Hermaeus Mora? Mm -hmm. The keepers of the dead have nothing to do with the Lord of Secrets. I never heard of anything called the Fulcrum Obscura. Wait. Mm-hmm. Are you a cultist too? Nope. I only agreed to help because the threat to Aeneas Mora endangers Nern. Endangers Nern? I'm just a minor curate working in the Necropolis. What kind of relic would be there? Prior Durdrin founded the Necropolis and our order. I'll get the key and head in. And head to the catacombs. What else can you tell me? And establish the Keepers of the Dead as a... Hmm. I don't remember that coming up in any of the mm -hmm. other lectures. Yep. I only visited it once. Without yep. the ancestors watch over us. Yep. Since the founding of Morrowind, dark elves have interred their dead. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what you mean by relic. There we go. Catacombs is through the chapel and to the north. Prior Durdrin's tomb is deep inside. To the chapel and catacombs. Thank you. 
two should be here somewhere. There we go. Friar Durdrin's tomb. Fulcrum Obscura. And now let's head back to the Abbot's quarters. You're back. Look, Abbot Ilvel is awake, feeling much better. Is this the one? Yep. Young Gadain mm -hmm. mission for the Prince of Fate. A strange and perilous ally. Mm -hmm. Thank you for saving the necropolis. We owe you our lives. What happened in the catacombs? Did you find the imposter who called himself Prelate Farah? Yep, he was actually a prelate pri a periate priest named Blight Crown. They got away with part of the relic. Interesting. I know Prior Durdrin cavorted with Daedra, but there was no mention of Periite in any of the Chronicles. What should I do with this piece? To it, of course. Gadain said that fate led you to us. I can only assume it was because of the Fulcrum Obscura. It must have a role in whatever trials you must face to save Nern. Yes, my young charge told me everything. He does that. Anything else? Just this. I am in no condition to help you recover the relic. None of the keepers are. Well, none except Gadain. I All right. Go with this adventurer. Retrieve the stolen piece of Fulcrum Obscura. <gasps> mm hmm. To see more of the world, anyway. Go. But yes, Abbot. I never traveled far. All right. 
barely left the Telvanni Peninsula, and that was just one trip to Mournhold with Abbot Ilvel. The Abbot has given me a mission, though, and I mean to complete it. Just tell me what to do, and I'll follow your lead. Me, uh, meet up with me at Necro uh, Old Necrom Bindery. I'm working there with someone named Laramil the Wise. A Necrom Bindery? I thought that place was abandoned. Of course I'll meet you there. Mm-hmm. Watch out, everyone. Your this adventure is isn't slowing us. down anytime soon. Still we... Hmm. That dark elf also bears the mark of fate. I shall speak with you momentarily, Kirit. Fate's threads still lead to two other locations. Choose mm -hmm. a proxy. Talk to me? I... Of course. Go on, friend. I'll see you soon. We'll head to Elevate Elevalus here. And Mortal, why don't you bear the mark of the great eye? We'll get to that in a moment. Weirdly enough, that is screwed. We'll be talking with him I said we'll be talking with Scroot there. Time to talk to Scroot. You'll like Scroot. He is extremely cheerful. Mortals. You scurry around obsessed with your petty affairs and then you die. But you bear the mark of Hermaeus Mora. Mm-hmm. Have you come to replace me in my task? That would be typical. Wait. Were you sent to help me with the cultists? Before you die? Maybe. Tell me more about these cultists. Not much to tell. I just arrived myself. This mortal served the Great Eye, but he died before he could tell me about the other Daedric cultists that scamper about. Ooh. They're creating an intolerable contradiction in reality. It makes my tentacles ache. A uh, contradiction in reality, you say? Something here undermines a fate recorded by Hermaeus Mora. Mm-hmm. Foolish mortals trying to change what has already been written. To fix this, I could use some help. Hmm. It's common knowledge that mortals prize gold. Eight man, I'll give you some. You know, I'm gonna say yes, but screw you gotta work on your uh, seduction pitch. Where do we begin? Prefer to sit back and wait for entropy to claim us all. Don't we all? I suppose we must do something. Yep. Let's survey the town. See if anyone survived and try to determine what the cultists want here. Uh, mm-hmm. And despite my size, I'm good in a fight. You'll see. I'll trust you on that. Um, let's go ahead and uh get started with a few uh QA here for uh starters. Uh why are you here? As I said. Divergences in the threads of fate call to me. My purpose is to correct those digressions, examine the contradictions, and rectify them. I can't leave until I succeed. Mm. You ask me why, there is no why. It simply is. What exactly are you? I am Scroot, a powerful servant of the Great Eye. Creatures of my Daedric Order call ourselves... No, oh, it doesn't matter. Everyone else calls us Watchlings. An insulting diminutive. But I expect nothing more. How powerful are we talking about? Oh, do you mock me? I detect a note of mockery. I should reduce your brain to rotten cheese for your temerity. Oh, please, that'll be better. What's the point of anything, really? Just know that I can summon a mighty strike when fate requires it. Very mighty. Hmm. Well, let me check my Cold Harbor Compact. I could have sworn I saw something in there that said Daedra had to be summoned to reach Nern. Yes. But it's usually easy enough to nudge a mortal follower of Hermaeus Mora to summon me when the ripples of fate draw me here. It's not my fault the fragile mortal got himself killed. Well, 
Maybe it is. Who can say? Fate works in mysterious ways. Well, I didn't notice any uh, telltale signs of his chest bursting or head exploding, so... I'm gonna operate on the assumption that he was dead when you got here. Uh, what can you tell me about the place? Or this tedious mortal plane? No, don't tell me. My answer is the same in either case. It's a dust boat, populated by delusional insects whose meaningless lives seem important to them. I can't bring myself to care. Mm. As you can tell, Scrut has been brought to you today by Zoloft. Why would Hermes Mora in the end care what happens here? I have no clue. When my master exerts his power in this plane, the consequences linger. Mm hmm Malleable clay of fate that hardened to stone with the passing ages. I sense that events here run counter to something my master did long ago. So there is something special. Something special about a mortal settlement? Hardly. Olivellus fails to stand out from the sheer mediocrity of a thousand similar places in this world. Until the followers of a Daedric Prince seize control of it anyway. Which may be something. What can you tell me about the cultists here? You mean besides the dead devotee of Hermaeus Mora? Hmm. They call themselves the Hidden Kindred. Since I could see them, mm -hmm. the nomenclature must be ironic. Possibly. I also noticed some Daedra. Dremora of Clan Dreamcarver, sworn to serve Prince Vermina. Well, Hidden Kindred infiltrated the necropolis at Necrom. A Periite priest named Blightcrown led them. Periite and Vermina? Working together? That could be the source of the disturbance in fate. The mortal who summoned me spoke of nightmares before he died. I was just about to start my inquiries mm -hmm. when you arrived. Pity you don't have more tentacles. And now we search Alabellus. Okay. We'll try searching Alabellus. Tell me what happened here. Started when a stranger came to town, a Tilvani master. She offered to purchase the old glass mine. I thought it was too good to be true. The mine closed years ago, but she offered us a chest full of gold, and the village elders accepted it. What happened next? Everyone in the village was given a job in the mine. Then others came, masons and additional laborers. We thought, and the dream started. Nightmares, toiling in the darkness. Working to cut malachite and stone for an arch and a statue. What arch and statue? In the dream, they were building an arch in the mine while we dug out the glass and stone. What wasn't used for the arch was sent to restore a statue. At least that's what the overseer said. We woke each morning exhausted, hands bloody. Where's everyone now? Uh, but listen, <sighs> the overseer and his workers, they're Daedra worshippers. They rounded up the village mm. and took them away. I... I hid. Check the green glass in. The cultists commandeered it. Nightmares. Right. Sounds like Prince Vermina, all right. We should investigate this green glass in. Wait, uh, call on me. 
Let me aid you. I am a vessel of the great eye. Call on me. You're messing with your head. To the green glass growing here. Disappointing. Another name that overpromises and underdelivers. Yeah, well, we might as well look around. Master Shalrani, our work here now Lavellus nears completion. The hidden kindred have followed your instructions carefully. The gateway will be ready as directed, and the stone you requested to rebuild the sacred statue is now on its way to the destination you provided. The Prince's Shrine will soon be restored to its former glory. The Dremora Tor of a Star has arrived. He wants us to prepare to join the incursion into Apocrypha. <clears throat> he tells me he will soon know exactly where we need to go to find the door he saw in his dream. I'm not sure I trust in an aligned Aedra, but our Prince has ordered us to obey him. For the glory of the Dreamweaver and the Prince of Pestilence, Kindred Rector Nyleth. Master Shao Reni, are you familiar with this mortal? No, but we have a name at least. Kindred Real, I purchased a glass mine in the village of Alavalis. The Hindu Kindred allies will construct an arch gateway, arch gateway using their using the mystic qualities of Malachite ore. Compounds provided by the Prince Periite and the Prince Veramina, and my own specially crafted skills, this will provide the portal we need to enter Apotheca without drawing the notice of Hermaeus Mora. Bring your dream carvers to Alavalis and wait for the Torvasard signal. Do not strike early, you must secure the relic in the right before we search for the door from Torvasard's dream where the Prince of Fate will perceive his peril. Deal with any loose ends in Alavalis as you see fit. Master shall Rennie borrow. Carvers plan to strike an Apocrypha? That must be the disturbance in fate that brought me here. I assume this would turn out to be some pointless mortal delusion. Sadly, no. Prediction easily resolved. But oblivion gateways and Daedric shrines and plans to invade Apocrypha. Quit what do you make of the two letters? Mind to construct a portal to Apocrypha for the express purposes of invading my master's realm. They also sent stone to restore Daedric shrine, most likely one devoted to Periida Vermina. Who's Master Shelrenny? Not sure, but her letter to Kinry Vril mentions a relic in the right. Doors in Apocrypha lead to secrets and knowledge. Something this Torvasard saw in a dream? Is that why Vermina is involved? I suppose we should investigate the mine next. Just make sure I don't get mutilated. Reconstitution is so unpleasant. Let's go to the glass mine. Which I undertake is wasted. Oh, Made a deal here. Did. Mortals always get the special titles, but who winds up doing all the work? Huh? Usually that's me. Well, as long as we're both here, we might as well work together. What's the worst that could happen? Never mind. I already know. Any idea who this Torvasard is? Never heard of him. The letter we found claims he's an unaligned Dramora, working with Vermina and Periite. And with Master Shilreni, too. Highly unusual for a Dremora not to be dedicated to a clan or a prince. Not mention of a dream. What about Torvasard's dream? Another contradiction and a flood of discrepancies. Daedra don't normally dream. Not like mortals at any rate. Yep. Normally. To the mine!
Hold on. There we go. No watch gateway here. I suppose we'll need to go deeper inside. Yep, I suppose we will. Malachite. Volcanic glass that absorbs magic out in the right condition. Good choice for building a gate that will be here. Some of the missing villagers. Mortals should have the decency not to leave their empty husks lying about. It's untidy. Well, I'm sorry. We try. We all can't conveniently die in Necrom or Detroit or anywhere close to a funeral home. It's inactive. I can detect the lingering energy of Apocrypha in the air. It must have closed recently. Look around, mortal. We need more information before I attempt to activate this gateway. Instructions. Follow these instructions to the letter. Any deviation will result in unforeseen and most likely calamitous events. Blight Crown's concoction has been worked into the stone as is as has the dream essence is given to us by Vermina. Torvasar provided the coordinates and I have devised the spell to make it all work together. When the key is set in place, the gateway will be ready. Do not activate it until Torvasart issues the command. Every time the gateway is open, the more likely Hermaeus Mora will notice the intrusion. The invocation to reach Apocrypha is as follows. By the seventh umbra and the dismal name, I bid thee open Cephalarch's flame. Cephalarch's fane, Master Shalreni. Bad. But of the invocation needed to activate the gateway. Our puny allies. I rigored the brass. Contradictions cling to those tools like void ticks adhere to a watcher's tentacles. Leave them for now. We need to deal with the gateway. <sighs> I suppose we have no choice. We need to activate the gateway and follow Hermaeus Mora's enemies to Apocrypha. Can I use the Want me to accompany? My investigation is incomplete. What should I expect? Apocrypha can be overwhelming for mortals. You may find power or despair, knowledge or madness. Still, you bear the mark of Hermaeus Mora. I think you're meant to go there, and damn it all, I think I'm meant to go with you. Fine, let's activate the gateway. Now, what was that invocation? Ah. By Seventh Umbra and the dismal name. I bid the open Cephaliarch Spain. Let's take the portal. Mm-hmm. Behold it, Apocrypha. Don't look up, mortal. I understand your kind find our sky disturbing. Let me see. Head south. They went that way. Well, that fucked up a uh, watcher, which is usually not good. Yeah. 
contradiction they were compelled to create hangs heavy in the air. The trail continues west. Here we go. Hold, intruder. I failed to stop your allies, but I won't allow any more of you to enter the catalog. Hold on. My impertinence. Now I see that you bear the mark of Hermaeus Mora and travel with one of the great Ice Watchlings. Yay. Aid us, stranger. Angry Elf Protect Apocrypha, tell me what happened. Forced their way into the tranquil catalog. I think they were devotees of Periite and Vermina, but how could that be? And Dreamcarver Dramora accompanied them. They mm -hmm. drove off my fellow ciphers. And uh, what's your name and what's this place for our home game players? I am a humble cipher, a mortal scribe in service to the Great Eye. Where can I find the invaders? Once they broke into the catalog. All right, all right, let's. Don't worry, I know the way more. Let's talk to Screw. Alright. Followers and scribes are allowed access to the tranquil catalog. Oh dear. But if the hidden kindred and their Dramora allies know about the pool of inquiry, we must hurry more. What do I gotta know about that place? Of sorts. Whatever the hidden kindred seek in Apocrypha, they must not know where to find it. How do we stop them? Before we catch up to them, then we do what they did. Alright. To the Tranquil Catalog. Do that. Invaders in the Tranquil Catalog? What a calamity. The way to the pool of inquiry is straight ahead. Orders to Kindred Rector Nyleth. Kindred Rector Nyleth! I am pleased by reports of your progress at Alavalis. Torvasard explained his plan to recover his lost realm by scorching Mora's ink stained records for its hiding place. I want you to accompany Kinry Vril and the Dream Catchers and the Dream Carvers on this mission. Help them find the secret or retrieve it yourself. Things are not as we have been told. Remember, you, you serve the Dreamweaver at the Taskmaster's command in Periite's name, Blightcrown. Serves Periite, but orders the hidden kindred to work with Vermina? Strange allies indeed. Shattered the portal seal. We need to follow them to the pool of inquiry. Oh, fun to the pool. This. The invaders use the sacred tears. Look around without them, we can't use the pool. Fellow ciphers, a friendly reminder if you use the sacred tears of Hermaeus Mora, be considered and replace them. Remember, your fellow ciphers can't use the pool of inquiry without them. You can replenish the tears at the shrines of Hermamora, Hermamora, and Hermora. Pay homage to each aspect of the Great Eye, and remember that you are blessed indeed to walk these hallowed halls, Cypher Aramid. These portals lead to the shrines where we can find more of the sacred tears. Shrine of Hermamora. I'm 
Get touched by his noodly appendage. That joke will never get old. Fight me. Ugh, more of the invaders. It will take forever to put the catalog back in order. I'm a vessel of the great eye. Call on me. Gather the sacred tears. Ermamora, the woodland man. Here, Memora. and hidden kindred lurk around every corner. Paramortal, let a pocket look to my two foes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you deal with that. Pop oh, that through. My master here, Memora. Pity they're long gone. <laughs> I found them interesting. Uluskin's Manifesto. Tyrant Lelorian Dinars. Mm hmm. Anything but merciless wordings, but a bison and ill in our very existence in this world. We must put our faith in here, Memora. Sacred tier of here, Memora. And then we back to the pool of inquiry and do the uh, third and final pearl of Hermora. I appreciate it, but I think I am a vessel of the great eye. Call on me.
Grimora is the Great Eye's name among the Khajiit. Gather the tears, mortal. One moment. Oh, Rajin stole the book that knows. Mm-hmm. Now that's a good story. Hands. I'm not jealous at all. Now take the tears and place them in the pool. Uh, please. Take the tears and place them in the pool, please. Let's go. The Tranquil Archives. One of the main repositories for Hermaeus Mora's glyphics. We need to find the invaders. Ah, this is the glyphic. Now I know where to find the memory of the dream your prince helped me remember. Despite your predilection, Brill. Prince Vermina commands me to punish Mora's servants. So I do. Excessive and pointless. But I have what I came for. I'm leaving. Do what you will. I'll deal with our questions. to activate this bridge for you. Yep. I keep saying that too. We should find out what it contains. from the glyphic. Read them, mortal. On the Pact Primordial. Only a few lines of text reveal when you open the book. Lest all forget, spoke, lest all forget, spake the Erdadra. To thine realm we may not come, nor thee to ours. Within their own domain, each prince is sovereign. Only by invitation may another manifest within and so manners have stood since. The Pact Primordial prohibits Daedric Princes from entering another's realm. But that's hardly a secret. Dreams of the Forgotten. Only a few texts reveal themselves here. For a thing forgotten is not a thing that has never been. It becomes a secret possessed by the one alone, the inevitable knower, the Lord of Secrets. Those who once knew that thing may dimly sense its absence in uneasy dreams. Know that a place exists in his endless realm where the Lord of Secrets preserves the memory of every forgotten thing. Kalthasart said he was trying to remember a lost dream. He believes he can find it in my master's realm. Only a single line of text here, Secret of the Tormenting Eye. A black book for a dire purpose. The right necessary to unlock a secret most dangerous and best left forgotten. Tormenting Eye? That's one of my master's black books. These tomes were reluctant to dispense their information. I wonder if Torvasard learned more. 
Mm -hmm. you are for eternity. I've never heard of any erasing themselves before. Really? Strange. Do you understand the texts that remain mortal? I found the words very disturbing. I'm not sure. What did you make of it? One concerned the Pact Primordial. Could they be seeking a way to subvert that ancient restriction? The second mentioned lost dreams, such as the one Torvasard seeks to recover. It told of a place in Apocrypha to find such misplaced memories. Obviously, we don't have the exact location. It's not in the line's text. No. But we have to assume Torvasard learned the location before the text faded away. Mm-hmm. The final book referred to one of Hermes Mora's most infamous black books. The, the Tormenting Eye. It said it contains a right for unlocking dangerous secrets. And the significance of the Pact Primordial. The Pact refers to ancient laws that bind the Daedric Princes. No prince may physically intrude in another's realm. Everyone knows the that. Where's his dude? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright, leave the catalog. Need something? After you. My portals are perfectly safe. Usually. <laughs> right. Talk to Scrut. We're in no immediate danger. We can speak here, mortal. I've never faced such a convoluted contradiction of fate before. Anything else I can do to help? Me? What a strange mortal you are. But resourceful. I'm not sure I would have learned anything at all without your assistance. Here's the gold I promised. You earned it. Thank you. The problem bears contemplation. I'll find you again soon. Three more gold when you do. Wait. My master, Hermaeus Mora, wants to speak with you, mortal. He will use me as his vessel. Screw it. What's happening? Oh, that the Prince of Secrets addresses you, chosen of fate. I can observe mm -hmm. my watchman's eyes. Speak through them, even act through them when necessary. You and Scrooge uncovered a threat before even I became aware of it. That concerns me. Well, Torvasard and the Hidden Kindred found a way to enter Apocrypha undetected. But you and Scrooge were not fooled for that. I give you a gift, so that I may better aid you against this ongoing threat to my realm and yours. I will make this watchling available to you for the duration of our agreement. Now, Laramil comes. Alrighty then. So we have Scrooge here, who's now essentially our bitch. I came as soon as I heard, Proxy. I knew what Hermaeus Mora predicted, but I never truly imagined invaders in Apocrypha. One more thread of fate to investigate, Proxy. Take this portal and see where it leads. Laramel the Wise? You know this mortal too? Mm -hmm. I understand that agents of Vermina invaded my master's realm. No, oh, one of Hermaeus Mora's examiners of contradictions. Reality is in jeopardy, Watchling. We can use every ally we can get. Yep. Oh. Vermina's servants built a secret gate to Apocrypha beneath Olivalis. The village was not important then. Only the gate. All right. And prudent request. Tell Rendis. There we go. To tell Rendis. And that should pop us back out onto the wonderful little. Fate dictates that I join you at this location. Mm hmm. The threads of fate draw both of us to this place, Proxy. Tell Rendis. One mm -hmm. powerful Telvanni Magister named Meln the Mouthless. But now abandoned. Is that why you're here? To be determined. What's this place here? Them two side. More important, just that fate requires both of us here. I'll invest. We investigate. Where do we start? What can you tell me about the Talbani? One of the great Dunmer houses. 
Mel the Mouthless. But I could not learn much. Just that he owns this tower, but has not been seen in some time. The place is considered abandoned. And the Mouthless? The masters and magisters avoid undue socializing, fearing threats from all directions. So they appoint agents to represent them. Mouths. Meln eschewed the practice. Oh. Mm. called him Mouthless. Oh, really? Dusk Saber's here. Careful, Croxon. These vampire mercenaries opposed us when we searched for the Emerald Glyphic. The vampire mercenaries. The tower's defenses have them well occupied. Master Shell ready. The tower's defenses continue to oppose us. Meln was thorough, I'll give him that. Any word from the tower? No progress yet. I'll keep you informed. See that you do, Captain. You there, come forward. You aren't with the Dusk Sabers. A Telvani master. Speak with her, Proxy. Does Captain Re Zenfis, my business at Telrendis is not quite done. Detach a strong company of Dusk Sabers and establish a camp at M Tower. I'll join you there. Do not attempt to enter Telvani. Tail Rendis until I arrive. Now in the mouthless, must at powerful defense is a place that will take time to circumvent. Curse that old fool. I expected to have Tail Rendis all to myself today, and you're certainly not one of Captain Zenfis's vampire mercenaries. So, who are you, and why have you come to this tower? Well, name is Bounces Without Rhythm. I heard the place was abandoned. Abandoned, yes, but not without its defenses. Telrendus is a dangerous place, Fla. I advise you not to interfere with the Dusk Sabers. And it seems Meln the Mouthless left Telrendus well protected, as my mercenaries can testify. Meln the Mouthless, you say? Oh, the Telvani Magister who owned this place. He's been missing for decades. The old fool possessed a book that I very much want to add to my library. Scavenge if you will, as long as you understand the book is mine. Now, why are you really here? Well, you got it in one, I'm afraid. We're just here to scavenge whenever we can. We find the book first, it's yours. Hmm. A capable adventurer might be just what I need. The wards of Telrendis are intended to keep out other Telvani wizards, myself included. And since my Dusk Sabers are stymied, I have a proposition for you. What kind of proposition? Find a way into the tower and breach Meln's defenses so I can recover the book I seek. We'll I help you out. With the old Telrendus Hall to the southwest of this camp. Captain Zenfis reports that his Dusk Sabers are having a difficult time there. Tell me a little more about yourself for our home game viewers. And clever. We Telvani think highly of ourselves. Mm -hmm. I'm an accomplished mage, as you might guess. Mm -hmm. I've more than earned the right to wear a master's hood. Mm -hmm. I should be a Magister. A Magister, you say? The next rank up in the house, which will allow me to challenge the Arch Magister. I expect to be awarded the rank soon enough. Now, don't you have a tower to break into? Hmm. You know, I found some instructions that you signed at Elevelis. My business is my own, but if you must know, I recently purchased a shuttered malachite mine there and put it back into operation. I instructed mm -hmm. my work crew to set up an arcane experiment. Nothing dangerous. If the old right. I had employed Daedric cultists, it was without my knowledge or consent. And Torvasard. It's impolite to ask about such things. I see death sabers here. Did you... I collect arcane relics, Fla. It's something of an obsession of mine. I send the dusk sabers to recover a great many things. They killed many of the Hermaeus books. The Dusk Sabers? In my experience, it's hard to tell one vampire from another. It's why... That Telvani bears watching. But the tower remains the crux of our investigation here. Let us find a way in.
in the hall of Telrendis. A magic reward seals that door. What happened here, mercenary? What happened here? The ward killed my comrade. Not easy to do to a dust saber. Mel's to do list. Add more summoning circles in the courtyard. Servants could despise, dismiss them. The door leading to the portal in Telrandis Hall is sealed with the ward of my own creation and destructive resonance. The spell switch deactivates the ward. Remember, it's disguise to use ghost sight lens before touching anything. Banish the cook. I know she plans to poison me, number four. Number five, encrypt book, hide it, encrypt and hide it. I can't trust anyone. The Saber Uleni. I thought we had little to fear from old tricks and traps, but look what happened to my comrade. Dead is the last swit who stepped out of line across the Dusk Sabers. Master Shavrani sent us. Through the ward on that door. Mm -hmm. Over there suggests that something in this room disarms the trap. Clearly, she guessed wrong. What does it do? We obviously weren't able to figure it out. All right. Such as that can reveal hidden things. Look through it, Proxy. Look for anything glowing. That should be the switch to dispel the ward. The ward is gone. Master Shalreni must be informed at once. This you do that. Opportunity. Lead the way, Proxy. This portal should take us to the tower. I bet. To the lower floor. Whoop. We have reached the lower level of the tower. There should be more portals to take us higher, Proxy. Well, should be and is are two different things, in my opinion. To the middle floor. Interesting. The spirit seems aware of Master Shell Rennie's attempt to access the tower. And it seems they're having a Oz the Great and Powerful moment. Probably. Or we could have a 
nice chat and discuss this like civilized people. Oh. Request. Speak to the spirit, Proxy. In a moment, in a moment. I gotta go loot and scoot. I mean, after all, I just found adamantine. And an Electrum Speed Bell of uh, reducing cost, more lock picks, more lock picks, and that looks like something we'll have to get here in a couple seconds. And now let's chat up Meln. If there's one thing I learned in death, it's how foolish the living can be. I know all that passes in my home, intruder. I heard your bargain with that so-called master, Sherani Barreau. You have given my murderer access to my tower. Master Sherani murdered you, why? Why does a Telvani do anything? Ambition, power, greed. Of course. Simplicity. Twenty years ago, I stood in Sherani's path. An obstacle to the higher rank she craved. Stands right. Mm-hmm. Negotiating. She killed me and tried to steal my prized possession. Ill, if you're dead, what stopped her from stealing? Oh, just all the contingencies I had in place. With my last breath, I banished her from the tower and set all the wards and defenses. They held perfectly well. Until you mucked everything up. <sighs> She'll have no trouble stealing my black book. Black book? A tormenting eye. A tome of forbidden secrets. I see Hermaeus Mora's mark on you and your companion. If you don't know about the black books, she can tell you more. Ah, fun. Sherani uh, Barreau is careless in her pursuit of power. She must not possess my... What are you masking, Milne? True things protect my book. The spell of eligibility I cast upon it. And the fact that without my aid... It will take her time to break the spell on her own. Still, I'd rather she never get her hands on it. I'll need to discuss this. Comes clear. Her Mayor's Mora sent us to recover the Black Book. The Black Book is mine. And with this soul gem, I also have this miserable spirit. Mel comes with me. And I thought this day couldn't get any worse. I knew it. The threads of fate here are tied to uh -huh. Master Shell Rennie, Mel the Mouthless, and the Black Book. Tell me more about them. Um... are relics of Apocrypha. Uh -huh. It's a different secret. How many? It's a secret the one who knows has not yet shared with me. I can count the number of Black Books I know about on one hand. Okay. And each is unique. Unknown? Only one copy of each book exists. This is the first I have heard of one titled The Tormenting Eye. So what now? Free Melm the Mouthless from Master Shell Rennie's grasp and retrieve the Black Book. All right. Information search. Melm's remains. House Rendis Signet remain. Melm's remains. It is clear he was murdered at this very spot. Letter to Magister Meln. Magister Meln Rendis, at the instruction of Shell Rennie Barrow, Master Tell Barrow, I send this letter directly to you. You still have not appointed him out to handle your day-to-day -day affairs. Master Shell Rennie requests an audience with you at your tower, Tell Rendis, to take place tomorrow at first light. At this time, she shall present her proposal for finally putting an end to the animosity that has clouded your interactions these past few years. She wishes to prove to you that her intentions are well in keeping with the long-standing traditions of House Telvani. That she deserves to be awarded the rank of Magister and would seek your support in that matter. Finally, she would like the opportunity to negotiate a trade or a purchase for an item in your possession, an ancient tome titled The Tormenting Eye. It is of no use to you, but of great importance to Master Shell Rennie. She will arrive at your tower tomorrow morning to conclude this business. Vob Drew, Mouth of Master Stir 
Mouth of Masters shall Rainy borrow the Assembly of Magister Assembly of Masters at Alt Isra. That letter from Master Shell Rennie's mouth. That meeting must have been when Meln was murdered. Laramil. Meln the mouthless let down his guard and paid the ultimate price. He said you know what we need to do. In his black book, you must find Master Shell Rennie. You are coming. Here our paths diverge. Master Where are you gonna go there? Trapped Meln's spirit in a soul gem. You must retrieve that gem or destroy it. All right, what can you tell me about Alt Isra? The masters leave, the masters leave day to day. This portal leads outside. You must travel to Alt Isra from there. Defenses around Tel Hulin say have it. There we go. What's your excuse this time? Spit it out before I have you. My master wants you to convey this message to Master Shell Rene. The Assembly will not tolerate threats or coercion. These rumors disturb the other Masters. Shell Rennie must moderate her ambition before the Assembly takes action. I will relay your concerns to Master Shell Rennie. Huh? Forget what you heard, stranger. Master Shell Rennie cares not what the other Masters think of her, or how difficult she makes things for me. You need to talk to Magister Shalrani here. Shalrani never comes to Aldisra. Telvani masters rarely do. I expect she is at her tower, Telbaro. Don't you recognize me? I was there. A master trying to help her. Doesn't discuss her work with me. Very well. Take the Telbaro insignia from my office. My All right. Through the north door, and the insignia is behind my desk. Use it do you let everyone there? The question is, do I think you are an assassin? Or do I even care? If you are what exactly does a mouth do? Of the assembly on behalf of the masters we represent. Mm -hmm. Mouth of Abdru's journal. New session, first entry. Unpleasant conversation with Mouth Saru's today. She informed me that her master requires Master Shalreni to stop directing spies and scrying devices against other house masters. I denied such intrusions, but Mouth Saru's brushed aside my protests. Second entry, more trouble. The Assembly of Masters is considering a new bylaw requiring members to disclose all bargains, compacts, and alliances with any people or entities outside of House Talbani. I do not know how I will tell Master Shelreni the news. Third entry, as I feared, the new rules designed to expose Master Shelreni's private dealings. I relayed her denials to my colleagues. Mouth Delvey then called for a vote of censure, which I could not deflect. Master Shelreni will not be pleased. Fourth entry, I received more bills from Alavelis. The death savers and strange requests from someone who referred himself only as Blight Crown. I will pay them, of course. Master Shelreni has granted me access to enough funds to cover these expenses, but what is up to, she, up to with these endeav different endeavors? And why has she increased security to Talbero? The new wards that require a special insignia to unlock seem like overkill to me. Still, fifth entry, still no response from Master Shell Rennie. I must give the assembly some reply on her behalf, but what? There will be no more denial, except no more denials or delays. She is really making my job more difficult with every passing day. Latest entry. At last, a reply from Master Shell Rennie. Of course, it's utterly impractical. She demands a formal hearing of her peers at Al Israel. I fear she's planning something terrible, but what am I to do? As her mouth, I must continue to do as she instructs and work toward her best interests. Oh, I wish I was in league with any other master at this point in time.
letter to mouth Bob Drew. Bob Drew, I must say I was disappointed by your last letter. A mouth must keep the politics of all Israel from interfering with their master's work. More important work, if I must address the frivolous concerns of my rivals, what purpose do you serve? If they continue to insist that I am in fact doing something wrong, which is impossible under Talvani customs and traditions, then have them call for a conclave. Once that occurs, I will deal with my rivals once and for all. In the meantime, do better if you disappoint me again. I'll skin you alive and turn you into a fur-lined cloak, Master Shelreni Baro. He's obviously getting sweated. To the cavern at Telbaro. so I know which ways to go. Last crack edifice. we go. To the cavern at Telbaro. And we are here, the home of the Baro family. That's Captain Zenfis's orders. Oh, joy. Da 
Dusk Sabers. Master Shalrani has erected a new arcane barrier toward the entrance to the Tower of Talbera. Remain vigilant as these wards are tempered until she has time to conjure something more permanent and durable. Note only those of you authorized to enter the tower of which there are precious few will need to tell borrow insignia to temporarily and unlock the wards long enough to gain entry without insignia approach the tower at your own risk. Four locks are situated throughout the tower cavern, dust capped in Zenfis. Buck. Wonderful, so. That's three. And now we should be able to theoretically make our way to vote. Talbero. To the lower floors. Master Shelrani, your efforts in our videos have been noticed and appreciated since we now have an order of pock for the even great eye will not see. Wow, that'll be good. They're in league with Torvasard, okay. Tell the princess, I'll uphold my end of the bargain. I expect them to uphold theirs. To the sanctum. I have no time for optimistic ghosts. You will give me access to the Black Book when I return, or else. Here. Quickly before she really comes back. Uh huh. I'm able to follow the clues I left in my tower, uh, but you took your sweet time. Really? I can't defy Shamrani much longer. If we're going to get out of here and keep me from complying with that lying murderer, you must do exactly as I say. What do I need to do? It's bound to the soul gem Sharani used to capture me. Disentangling the connection will require more time and expertise than you have. So simply take the gem and leave without me. She may never be able to unlock my black Where is it? Black book with her, but without my help, she'll have to unriddle it page by page. What does she need it for? At all. She's in league with a Dramora, Torvasart, and a pair of Daedric princes. All right, let's grab the soul gem and get you out of here. Can you hear me? With the gem in your possession, I can come and go as I please. 
Now use that portal and let's go. All right, all right. Give me a moment while I uh, clean up and clean out a fucking Telvani. Just for kicks. And now we exit. Yes, this will do nicely. Let's discuss our arrangement, my chariot of flesh and bone. Aha! Uh -huh. Uh, names bouncing throughout rhythm, idiot. Being dead and incorporeal isn't how I plan to spend eternity. But being with you is a thousand times better than remaining in Sharenia's clutches. Mm-hmm. Laid her plans for my black book. Now, tell me about your dealings with Hermaeus Mora. Well, not much to say. He picked me, signed an agreement. My job is to save Apocrypha and Nirm from opposing Daedric Princes. So, end of the world stuff. Yep, seventh. Mm hmm Obviously, you're going to need the help of a Telvanni Magister. Obviously. Luckily, you have me. Thank you. I conjure up a small reward for my old vault. A stipend for services rendered. Now, all right. I'm going to keep my gem on you at all times. I can't help you save the world or advise you on matters of import if I'm not on your person. Unless I manifest, only you can hear me. All right. And I can lend you certain abilities. Such as my ghost sight. Advise me about what? Remember, I was a Telvanni Magister. Still am, as a matter of fact. One of the most powerful mages in the peninsula. And I've dealt with Hermaeus Mora before. And Shereni. Uh-huh. Don't you think my counsel will be worth listening to? Of course it is. It is. And you're in pocket size too, which is a lot easier. Why did she murder you again, Master Shereni? Once, long ago. I was her mentor, but I recognized a darkness in her, and not the usual Telvanni traits. Uh, she was reckless, dangerous. I refused to sponsor her advancement beyond the rank of master, and she coveted my black book. Mm-hmm. She killed me. And this ghost sight? It's an improvement on the ocular lens you used in my tower. I created a mm -hmm. that produced the same effect without any need of a crude focus. Turns out, it works even better now that I'm dead. Better how? My black book, The Tormenting Eye, contains many secrets. Ghost Sight was one of them. All right, well, if that's going to be a helpful thing. I expect you to find a nice silk pouch for my gem at the first opportunity. Now, let's be off. Be thankful I put it in the, in my backpack and not my prison wallet, bitch. We Anyways. And gained a valuable ally. Even though Master Shelreni took possession of the Black Book. Mm -hmm. Examined the threads of fate and learned much. Return to the Necron Bindery and we shall determine our next steps. Well, that was easy. Bit of boop. Upstairs. To the balcony! Time for us to take in a view, I suppose. The Dane of Necron. You tend the archive of corpses. Never heard it called that before. But yes, yes, I do. Would would you like a tour of the catacombs? Perhaps later. Hermaeus Mora's proxy returns. Ah, of course. I'm sure the two of you have much to discuss. 
All right. This Altner, Liranil. Mm hmm. Seems a few quama short of a clutch, if you catch my meaning. Mm hmm. Uh, I've seen it happen to many who dared to peruse the secrets of Apocrypha. Yep, pretty As much. Curate, I'd say he's smitten with the lady. Mark my words. Yep. Laramel is a remarkable woman. So intelligent and vibrant. But she won't tell me anything. She says we had to wait for you to return. Yep. And now we talk. Three labors were set before you, Proxy. Now All right. Periite and Master Shell Rennie stand revealed as our foes. Sounds right. I have been speaking with Curate Gadain. I find him intriguing. But I wish to hear it from you. What did you hmm. find in Necrom Abbey? Well, nothing good. Periite's cult infiltrated the Abbey. Blight Crown stole a relic from the catacombs. Just as Gadain told me then. The Fulcrum Obscura. The hidden kindred are well named. Although I understand you prevented them from escaping with the complete relic. Let us move on. What happened after we parted ways at Terendis? Obviously, we got Meln freed from the clutches of Master Shelreni. Without him, she won't be able to easily decipher the Black Book. She'll eventually get there, but it's going to take her closer to months rather than hours, which is a whole order of magnitude easier. Black Books serve as doors mm -hmm. to Apocrypha. A master such as Shelreni Barrow likely has other ways to reach Hermaeus Mora's domain. So why is this particular book so important to her? Definitely not for the ghost site. What did you find in Alavelis? Obviously, uh, Veramina's servants built a gate to Apocrypha so they could break into the Tranquil Catalog. Able to invade Apocrypha unnoticed and break into the realm's master index. Our enemies are bold and capable, it seems. Three different locations and three different schemes. They must be connected, but how? What are Mora's foes trying to do? Well, it looks like some sort of prophecy they're trying to search for, or at the very least, we know it's definitely a key, a right, and a forgotten dream. Usually all three of those involve prophecies. Ah, oh, I believe I see. The relic must be the key. The secret Vermina's servants sought in Apocrypha is the location of the dream. And the Black Book oh. is needed for the right they plan. Clever. Someone put them up to this. But who? Well, apparently the big bad is a Dremora named Torvisard. Torvisard, apparently. Of the dream, uh, whatever's. Dream cards. Ah, yes. Torvisard. Well done, Proxy. Now we have a name for the spider at the center of this web. Key. Right and dream. These are the threads we must follow to unmask our foe's true goal. Take this with the thanks of Hermaeus Mora. Hmm. Yep. Let's go ahead. Conversing with Curate Gadain. Mm-hmm. Find him interesting. But now we must return to the business at hand. Yep. Of two worlds depend on what we do next, Proxy. Shall we proceed? Determine what the plan is. I admit the part. How do we do that? To Apocrypha. All right. Beast among the dead, Chapter Two.
Perfect place to park here. Yep. You know what? I think we're at a good point here to take a quick, uh, quick break here. It's a quick, uh, time for, uh, putting it in park here. So let's go ahead and nudge ourselves here. Well met and good fortune to you. We have got a whole bunch of other stuff here to make up to uh, pop out here. We've got a whole lot of crates here to be precise. In fact, I'm going to take one of these Xanmir crates right now just to show off. Your rewards are ready. Really? Uh -huh. And a tattoo, and... Oh. Yay! Take your pick of a remaining crate. We've got four of each of six different types of crates. For a total of 24 crates. Well, my good friend. And for more crown crates. I may end up getting at least a uh, tramp stamp of the order of the lamp. Who the heck knows? Because we've already got a stack of Xanmir crates. We'll pick up a stack of order of the lamp crates. This one welcomes you back. Goodbye, my friend. And we'll go ahead and take this opportunity. And There we go. There we go. With that, I guess it is time now to say...
that tomorrow we'll be doing all this at noon and eight. But until next time, folks, do take care of yourselves out there. And do remember, like, subscribe, and ring the bell here on the video to get notified whenever we drop videos here, video on demand style. And since you're watching VOD, why don't you go ahead and uh, make your way over to twitch.tv slash Republic. Go ahead and hit a follow and ring the bell there as well. That way you can get notified whenever we go live and do all this stuff. But from yours truly, Biafra Republic, I'm just going to leave off and say, y'all have been a wonderful, wonderful, uh, for tuning in. And see you all next time with some amazing, amazing content.